The Israel-Palestine conflict has entered its sixth day with heavy casualties on both sides. At National Taiwan University, more than 30 Israeli students gathered to show support for their homeland. The students sang their national anthem and held up their flag. They also held a memorial laying flowers to mourn the victims back home. Israeli students in Taiwan raise their national flag and sing their anthem. They've gathered at National Taiwan University to speak out for their country. My whole family is fighting. My brother is on the northern border right now. My father, he's almost 60 years old. He's out volunteering for the border control. All of my family right now is in a in a bomb shelter. Last week, the Palestinian militant group Hamas launched an attack on Israel, setting off a war. With the conflict now entering its sixth day and casualties rising, Israelis abroad are banding together. We know a few people that already came back. Uh, we want to come back, but there are no, no uh, available flights right now. Uh, right now, all my friends recruited, uh, also my boyfriend. As soon as they say he have to come, we will leave everything and we'll, we will be there for our country. They laid flowers on a memorial to mourn the victims back home. Several Taiwanese took part in the event. This is not about taking sides and inciting hatred and confrontation. I hope that their hearts can find comfort. Almost every family has relatives involved. Over at the Kaohsiung Film Festival, the Israeli director of Love Has Nothing to Do With It told journalists that two members of his film crew had been reported dead back home. I'm here, as you probably heard, uh, during the war that's currently happening in my country. And when I landed, here, I learned that at first it was one crew member who worked with me on this film was murdered during the terrorist attacks, and two days later, I learned that another one was also um, is one of the uh, killed. So I'm here to talk about the, the the situation currently happening in my country. Something after October 7th changed the the perception how fragile everything is. You know, coming from Israel, for example, we never ever thought we would be slaughtered and um, be captivated, beheaded sometimes. That's something that recently uh, was talked about. The director shared the devastating news. He expressed his hopes for peace and a swift end to the war.